Hello everybody, Sift here again with another Backpack Belge one, the best inventory management auto butler out there, and the game just officially, officially launched. I mean, that was two days ago for you guys, but for me this is today. So we are at 0 .0. I lost all my ranking whatsoever, because now we're playing with people that have bought the game. As far as I know, the demo is still out and you can play between demo people, but... Well, we're in this mode now. We're gonna go Pyromancer again, because in my opinion, it's the most busted class, and also the two new classes, one of the two new classes, so we're gonna go into this and try to get the Dragon build. Oh, there is a Dragon build in, for this character. Now, in case you didn't see my first video, we're gonna go for the Wooden Sword, uh, not Wooden Sword, the, what is it called, the fla Flaming Blade or something. So we're gonna go with Whetstones, but this time I'm not gonna go for four. Uh, for eight, I'm gonna go for four whetstones. So the plan is one wind sword, which we start with, uh, four whetstones, and then random dragon eggs, as many dragon eggs as possible, because there is a dragon egg build, I guess. Let's get a flame for sure, and let's roll this. Uh, I'm gonna try to, yeah, let's get backpack, leather slots, why not? And I will once again try to maybe get another whetstone here. Uh, we didn't roll it, roll it, roll it, didn't roll it again. Pretty unlucky. I'm gonna get a lump of coal, why not? I would also like to get blueberries for mana. Uh, do I want to get blueberries for mana? Also, Lump of Coal is not really that crazy important, I would say. Uh, yeah, let's go with just backpack slots and let's continue. We want to get the whetstones. We should lose this fight, by the way, but we're in bronze, so there's a chance we're gonna win. Yeah, this guy has gloves of haste on the piggy bank, so I guess this should be a win, but they have a wooden buckler, which we don't. So maybe it's a loss. I don't know. We also have 40 health over there at 27. They blocked a lot of things. Okay, and now they got Battle Rage. So that means the piggy bank inside the duffel bag has a 3% faster activation rate. Yeah, that's that's this is pretty much what it looks like in bronze. Can't do anything about it. Let's hope at high wins we're gonna have powerful opponents. And we got our redstone, very nice. So that's gonna give us the hero sword. Uh, we will buy the backpack, yes. But then I'm gonna lose the chance of finding more redstones. You know what? I'm gonna roll with four slots here. Another backpack and a flame. Well, I'm gonna get the flame and uh, most likely two backpacks next. Dropping. I don't know. We're gonna see. Uh, yeah, by the way, we have, just to be clear, the fire pit. We spend one coin at the start of each fight to gain, uh, at the start of each shopping to get a flame, which is, are these things which I can sell back for one, so it's, there is no downside to getting these, you can just sell them. These things give you one heat, so that's 2% more attack speed, and then the backpack itself, the fire pit says, start of battle, gain 5 max health for each, fire item inside, so this is the 5 flames, therefore we start with a bunch of health over the opponents. I'm gonna also read what these do up. It's the same opponent as us. It's the same as us, actually, but we're gonna lose it because they have a banana and a broom, while we just have a powerful wooden sword. Uh, actually, it's a race. Actually, it's a race. If I don't miss, because I have 80% accuracy right here, and I'm also blinded, that's why I'm saying that, we, we, we shall actually lose, by the, by the way, because they have a banana. Once again, I'm gonna repeat here. And we lose this fight. Fair enough. I mean, if I'm gonna lose against my own character, I'm okay with it. And now I got my first hero sword. So the hero sword... It's gonna become a burning blade really quickly. This here says that weapons around it give plus damage. Who cares? I would say let's get the piggy bank and one backpack. Although, once again, I want two more whetstones. Will I find the two whetstones throughout the game? I don't know. We will gare, 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 need, need, uh, whoop, that was a mistake. We will guaranteed need backpack room because the dragons are a bit of too much inventory management. And the piggy bank, by the way, gives you one coin at the start of each fight, at the start of each shopping phase, and also two maximum life for each. Flame items uh, for each stat of battles around them. So that's eight max life, pretty much. I'm gonna roll here for whetstone. Found it. Very nice. The whetstones, by the way, give you plus one damage. That's it. But they will level up the sword into higher tiers. And then we will need to get dragons. Right, let's go. I'm not sure if dra there are dragons that need mana. It doesn't matter. We can find mana region later. We have 83 life. They have 45. They have more weapons than us, but with uh, just a carrot, I don't think they have that. Uh, we are cutting it close here. I'm missing a lot. They have the wooden buckler. The wooden buckler is the main difference maker here. It's safe to be like, oh, it's bronze. Um, uh, durpa, boom, lose three lives right away. And we got the burn blade, which is uh, the item of choice here. The burning blade specifically says the following. 60% uh, chance on hit to gain one heat, and then every five heat gained, this weapon and the adjacent ones get plus one damage. Uh, the, the adjacent ones are going to be the dragons, by the way. Um, and we start with five heat, so this is gonna instantly get the buff, the plus one damage buff, and also from this one, plus one. So this is not three to five damage, it's five to seven at the moment the fight starts. We're getting a lot of inventory space right now, and I'm not sure if we will find what I want. Uh, attack speed's always good. Gloves of Haste is also always good. Uh, we need to force the whetstones. I need one more whetstone guaranteed. Obviously, I also want more flames. 
Uh, Gloves of Haste, once again, as I said, is good, especially with the Burning Swords. So the attack speed is important. Yeah, we're gonna buy these three and most likely not gonna be getting <laughs> the whetstone in time. Okay, this is a Claws of Attack Molten Spear build. And also they take away my spikes, that's irrelevant. Uh, we should lose this fight, theoretically, unless I scale faster than what they do. They have energy issues. I'm doing 6 to 8 damage, no, we're gonna lose this. It's okay, it's okay. The deeper we go into losses, the more this video is a sift video. Uh, we're gonna go with attack speed. And more attack speed. And a flame, because flames are important. Roll into... No, no, I'll go. No, I found a cheap inventory space, which we're gonna buy. I could go for wooden buckler to... You know, it's cheap. Might as well buy it for early game. There is also Vampiric Potion. Both characters brought below 80. Consume this and gain one Vampirism and steal five life. Cool. You can get, like, seven Vampirism if you have four of these. Let's go. Because the potions trigger each other is the answer to why that's the thing. Okay, we should be winning this fight. I mean, it's a hero sword and a shovel. And I am a burn, a fire creating sword. And I have 11 flames. Come on, man. I supposed to have crazier attacks than this guy. 5 to 7 damage. Come on. I'm blinded even more. Come on. 5 to 7 damage still. Go. 17 flame. Go. And I'm wall. Ah, nice. Nice. Okay, we're slowly cutting it back. Okay, I'm gonna say yes to this and yes to that. Uh, one more flame, very nice. Banana could fit, but I, I'm gonna try to force the um, the whetstone here because if I don't get the whetstone, the next rolls, ooh, we got attack speed. One obviously by attack speed. Uh, we found mana, which is irrelevant for us. No, no, no. I found my first dragon. I'm gonna buy inventory space, and I'm also gonna buy this. Gain one heat and heal five health when you have at least ten heat. Cleanse one debuff. Let's go. The build is slowly coming together, of course. Uh, it's an archer with a spike shield. The spike shield should be an issue with us. We don't really have healing, and spikes are doing 2 damage back to us. But we should also have this. As long as he's not blocking, they also have a healing a backpack healing here. They just popped that. Uh, let's go. We don't have energy issues. That's the one good thing here. And I think we won. Nice. We did win. Very nice. Very nice. And we got another chili pepper. So that's cool. I'm not gonna force the whetstones anymore. I will find a whetstone at some point. The comments are not gonna go higher anymore. It's 20% chance to get comments for the rest of the game. Let's get the ruby egg. Reflect two debuffs and hatches after two rounds of being in the backpack. Wait a minute. Do I want this right now? Because we're at round seven. And I know for a fact that the next round is going to be the buy a subclass around and the subclass that i'm gonna get gives us that the dragons hatch faster so there is no reason to buy the dragon now because it's gonna hatch faster next turn anyway so i'm gonna go with double chili peppers if i have 10 heat i'm gonna cleanse a debuff is my play here or at least how i'm thinking about this uh or the one chili pepper on gloves of haste is not a choice also the chili peppers are definitely gonna go here uh the other glove could go above like double gloves below actually yeah, like this, and then like this, and this should go like here, and chili pepper, yeah. So I guess the second, I, I guess another gloves of face, honestly. Yeah, let's go with another gloves of face, we need damage here. And we're gonna lock all of these down, let's go. We should have this, uh, I should have these flames inside the zone there, that was not the min maxiest version of min max. But we should be winning here, it's just a triple arrow build. And we are a mad lad attack speed burning blade build. Burning sword right now. Blade's gonna come later when the time comes. Nice, that was an easy win. Just simple, simple smacking. And we got health because subclass are incoming. And the subclass of choice is this one. Dragon's Nest. So start of battle gain 3 luck, 3 regen, 4 man, and 5 flames. Which is a bunch of good buffs, uh, to be honest. And then dragon, whenever a dragon attacks, heal for 7. And we're gonna have all the dragons around this. And a dragon edge, uh, dragon eggs hatch after one round. Dragon eggs are not are now offered in the shop. And we're gonna buy now these. Oh, we found the whetstone. That's the most important one to get. And uh, yeah, I would say we sell a flame for the dragon egg. I, I have inventory management issues anyway. Uh, you know what? Let's sell this. Let's go here and here. So this dragon egg is gonna hatch in one turn. That's what that was. Yeah, that's literally what we just got. Uh, let me reorganize time. Do I need to reorganize time? I can just do this and this. And this is just straight up more health. Well, in the same vein, I should push all of these to the left. Mm, no, I don't think so. Does this do anything? South battle gain stuff? No, that's it. I think we got this. The burning flame is going to level up into a burning blade. And then the run is a go. I might even not even need the chili peppers. Energy also might be an issue. But I'm not gonna get. I'm gonna get a Wolven Tiger for energy. I don't need uh, bananas and whatnot. I only have one weapon anyway. 
Although this is a cheap banana I can sell back. I'm gonna buy this just because it's cheap and I can sell it back. So now everybody has classes. This is the luck class. Yeah, it's gonna take him a while for that to function. So we're gonna just destroy them here. Go! 22 flames, 23 flames. Uh, luck, by the way, gives us um, not miss chance, pretty much. A chance, the opposite of not miss chance. And we won. Very nice. Nice, and the dragon egg is gonna pop right away. Boop. And now we got our first dragon, and we also got the, the burning blade. So first of all, inventory space is guaranteed gonna be needed. Uh, we do have enough for this and for this. Yes, let's roll into dragon eggs now. The unique dragon eggs or whatever. I found flames. Attack speed's good in general. I want to buy the attack speed. Let's buy the flame. Now, do I have enough room for all of these stuff? All of this stuff? First of all, piggy bank can go to the side. So, this thing says that uh, on hit, gain one flame. And every four flames gained this and weapons get around the star thing gets plus one damage. And that's going to be the dragon for now. So, this dragon is going to scale damage. And obviously, the dragon blade needs to be super duper attack heavy. So, here we go. We want the, all the attacks from the dragon blade. And uh, the more dragons we get, the less important it's going to be slowly. Now, this once again, as I'm going to repeat. Uh, by the way, the dragon says that I was battling into heat. And then also, this thing now is going to make it so that whenever this dragon attacks, we heal for seven. We're going to also have healing built in. Uh, this flame I'm going to buy because it costs one. And at, at worst case scenario, I just sell it back for one. So, uh, let's go. Also, I have this maxed out, by the way. This, uh, this backpack inventory slot is maxed out. We have nine out of nine slots here for more life. So we start with 45 more life than the opponents do. Not unless they have even more. Nope, we have more health than them. Let's go. Yeah, we start smacking as fast as possible. And the dragon does not smack fast, but yeah, I mean, it does gain damage. Yeah, this is 10 to 15, and now it's 11 to 16, and they're gone. And they're gone. My flame was 25. Yeah, this had 11 to 13 damage. This has 11 to 16 damage. And imagine having five dragons around this thing. Right? That's, that's the idea as to what we want to create and do. Uh, let's get the attack speed. Backpack. Which should go here. And then this goes here. And the piggy bank goes away. Yes. And this can go over here. And the piggy bank can just stay there. Your flames. Uh, do I want even more attack speed? Honestly, I think we have gone a bit overboard already. I do want backpack slots though. I mean, have you gone overboard? In general, we have. But I want to find my dragons. Here we go. Amethyst egg. Start of bad inflict four random debuffs. Hatches after two rounds. Yeah, it's not gonna be two rounds, obviously. So we found the amethyst dragon. Very nice. I uh, can't really sell any. I mean, I can sell stuff, but I want to. Let's go. Let's go. The build is starting to take shape. Do I have energy issues, by the way? That's something. Oh, this guy got a villain sword. Okay. Well, they're dying. And we're healing every time the dragons attack, so the villain sword is not going to be really be paying attention. Nice, got him. Easy enough. Easy enough. Let's get the amethyst egg inside the bill. So you go here now. Uh, I don't think I had energy issues. I think I want to throw away the banana and put the dragon down here. So it still it gets the attack speed, but not the damage. Actually, the opposite. You go here, so you gain the damage. You go here just so you exist. And the banana can go up here. On the same vein, this could go here, and we have flames. Like, reorganization should never, ever, ever, ever be an issue. Uh, well, that's a mistake, though, because, yeah, I need this to hatch. I need that to hatch fast. Let's have the banana up there. Uh, I don't care about potions, honestly. We do have a lot of room here and there. Uh, let's roll, actually. We can find better inventory management. We found another pet. We found the phoenix. Lose 10 health and revive. Mm, the phoenix is not a dragon. I want to get dragons, man. Draconic orb. Now let's roll them. I want to get dragons. And backpack slots, of course. This backpack slot's good for us. Theoretically, I should also get a rich box of riches for the dragons, but let's go on as we are. We need inventory space for sure. Dragons uh, are four spotters each, so uh, we will need a bunch of stuff going on. Now, the good thing with the burning blade is because we started with a bunch of heat, we also gained the buff right away. Look at how much healing we get out of the dragons, man. We are a healing build, pretty much. And this is gonna hatch, and we found another egg. So this is Amethyst Bulb. Start of battle, inflict four random debuffs. On hit, remove random buff from your opponent. That's nice. And we got this guy. Gain four mana, hatches after two runs in your backpack. Okay, we found a new dragon. Let's go here. Uh, can I somehow reorganize in a way where I can fit a dragon there? Yeah, I mean, I definitely can. It's this part. Go here. And then you go here, the banana can go up there, and the flames, of course, can just join wherever on the map. Uh, I'm gonna buy a flame for one. More we'll reroll, let's reroll. Wow, and I found a basic dragon again. Let's get the basic dragon. Why not have just a bunch of random dragons? And down here fits another one. The burning blade... I mean... 
I should put it like this, so it buffs both dragons. That's what I think. Yeah, this way it buffs both dragons. Um, yeah, that's actually the solution straight up. And then I want you here. And I would go as far as to say I sacrifice two max life for uh, that. Or I can just put this somewhere else, right? Yeah, let me actually reorganize time. And we're back. Also, I could do a shape here. Why not do a shape when you can do so? Ooh, we created a shape. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think we're done. Uh, now I have all the dragons connected to this, so they will be healing us on attack. And I also have the Burning Blade connected to the two of the three dragons, so we also gain damage on them. I'm gonna get another Ruby Egg in a moment, so that we get another one of those Reflect to debuffs of dragons. Although they might be the worst ones. Uh, I mean, we need to learn what that dragon is. Also, I can just straight up look it up. Okay, so this is the Flame Build. Flame Build against Dragon Build. But first of all, I have more flames than the Flame Build, so I don't even know what they're doing. Nice. Let's not forget we have one dragon that removes buffs, which is super awesome. Nice, we won. Oh, and this is the final dragon. And we also found a Wolpen Tiger. This is the energy thing. Although I do not feel like I have energy issues. What do you do? Use two mana to gain five shielding and a random other buff. Okay, we don't have mana, so this dragon is not that good. Gain three luck, hatches after two rounds. Well, I'm gonna, first of all, check out what that dragon does. And we can decide which is the best one. Oh, that's not it. Uh, how can I just check it up? You know what? I can go with... Uh, I'm, I'm teaching you how to find stuff. Pyromancer. And here we go. Uh, gated items. Yep, that's it. So this is this thing. On hit, inflict three poison. Okay, that's cool. So we got the poison dragon. We got the... This is the stupidest one. Give us, gives us four mana and then, I guess, ten armor and that's it. If I had a mana build, then it could be a thing. So uh, we don't have a mana build, therefore that's not a thing. I would say we go with this guy, the Emerald Egg. I do enjoy it the most between the ones I'm seeing here. It's it's the poison one. And this is the Deflecto Boy. I don't want Deflecto Boy either. I want to go Emerald Egg and then Amethyst Whelp. The remove buffs dragon is awesome in my opinion, and the poison opponent dragon is awesome. And I also want the Wolpen Tiger for gaining buffs. Uh, do I want the Wolpen Tiger? I need to check if I have energy issues. Uh, let's... Put the dragons here. I just made them. No, I didn't make a mistake. Uh, we do have uh, money. So many flames that we can transform into money. Uh, now I need these two to align with this thing. Mm, or I guess I'm gonna do a mini reorganized time here. Okay, easy enough. Uh, do I want the ruby egg? I think the ruby is the most boring dragon. 5 to 10 damage, 90% accuracy, 2.2 attack speed. 5 to 10 damage, 9% accuracy, 2.2 attack speed. Yeah, like, this has... It gives us 2 heat and deflects 2 debuffs. This thing gives us 4 random debuffs on the opponent and removes a buff. This thing gives us four, 10 shielding and 2 buffs. Yeah. And, uh... This one's gonna poison the opponent and it's gonna also give us luck. Luck is anti-mischance. Yeah, I think the dragon's cool. Increase base stamina, faster for each pet. These are pets. I mean, the Wolpen uh, Tiger should go in this little corner here, down the corner. I'm locking that in in case it's useful. Uh, let's go. Is this fire, by the way? Pet fire. Pet. Pet. Okay, I mean, these flames can go and I can put another dragon there, right? Like, we, we can definitely reorganize in a bit better and fit even more things in. I'm keeping this guy only to see if we need them for mana. That's why. The fire dragon is gonna go away. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, we're gonna remove the buffs. Grab, I have 27. We heal, by the way, every time all of these dragons attack. So we have a lot, a lot, a lot of healing. Easy win. Let's actually check out how much healing we have. Boom, boom. Heal. 100 heal. A hail and overheal. Yeah, another 47 on top of that. Damage dealt. Burning Blade mostly, then the Ruby Whelp. Secondly, Amethyst Whelp and Sapphire Whelp later. Why did they do less, though? They should be doing the same amount of damage. 11 to 16, 11 to 16. Yeah, the Amethyst Whelp should be doing the same damage as the Ruby Whelp. Uh, which did not happen. This doesn't really make sense to me. So they, they literally have the same attack speed and they literally have the same DPS. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Let's go. I, I can't even crit. It's not like one of them crit and, and the other one didn't. I didn't see if I had energy issues. Well, that is that. Uh, let's go here. And I guess buy the Wolpen Tiger. You know what? Forget the Wolpen Tiger. Even if I have energy issues... Now I don't care about it anymore. And the reason being that we, uh, first of all, the Burning Blade, the attack speed is a bit weird set up there. That eh, doesn't matter. Let's get attack speed here. And I would say we put it on the Amethyst. 
So that's a mini, mini, mini reorganize time, which is already done. That was the fastest mini reorganize time ever. Let's roll him. Uh, at least give me one dragon, right? No, we don't have room for that. Give me one dragon. At least one, 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 one. No. Oh, class scale warden. I uh, found max energy. I don't care about this. Mana. I'm gonna get the mana again so that this dragon starts... Not this dragon starts generating shielding and buffs for us. And let's go. We have four dragons healing us right now. So we're super duper defensive. Okay, that's the that's the pet build. Let's see, which pet build is better? The dragon pet build or the pet pet build? That loses all the buffs, by the way. He's gone. <laughs> You're gone, man. You are gone. Are the dra uh, is the blade still... By the way, this is buggy. The burning blade does the highest DPS. Yeah, we don't have energy issues. Burning blade does the highest DPS. Even if I had energy issues, it doesn't matter. We're a dragon build. Let's go mana gain. Uh, from these two dragons, I would say. Is that the best I can do, though? Maybe I could do it like this. Actually, I want the blade to be getting hit. Because the blade attacks pretty often. This is the slot. <laughs> exactly here. <laughs> so, uh, let's do that. Yep, it hits uh, one of the dragons. Which has attack speed buff, honestly. And then it also hits this one. And I would like to actually increase the attack speed buff that dragon gets. Doing this thing. Nice. It's a bit weird how to handle the, the board. But we got this. We got this. I think the banana's covering all our energy needs. Roll them. Uh, no, I found another redstone. <laughs> Let's go here. Roll them. Uh, I could go... No, I don't think so. Yeah, this generates enough mana. Roll them. Where is the dragon eggs? Thank you. Oh, no, the this is the stupid dragon. I don't want that. <laughs> that's, the, that's, the, that's the sapphire dragon. Although they give us... No, no, no. I, I don't want the sapphire. I'm forcing dragons that I want specifically. Uh, let's get this. And I would say not even re-roll. Not spend coins for no reason. The dragon eggs hatch in one turn anyway, so I just need to find it one turn earlier. Okay, this is... Uh, how do you have a sun shield? Oh, they have the thing that generates fire. Yeah, this character can go into a fire build almost. Yeah, obviously they can't do anything about it. Look at this. They have no buffs. They have no potions. <laughs> they have poison too. They are, they're gone. We had energy issues because they had double sun shield blocking our attacks and draining stamina from us. But um, yeah, you're gone, man. You are gone. So this time the highest damage should not be... Yeah, it's the Amethyst Whelp for once. Let's go. Okay, let's force the dragon again. Wolpen Tiger, no. Let's get the shield, yes. Roll him, nope. Uh, found a Torquilla, which I can put right here. It's the important dragons. Actually, the mana dragon is not important, but I can flip it somewhere else. Yeah, we go here with the Torquilla. And we flip these two dragons, because this is the buff debuff. The who cares? <laughs> the who cares dragon. <laughs> uh, roll him, roll him. Uh, there was energy, but ah, you know what? We found mana again. Might as well put that in. Does Torquilla hit it? No. I put Torquilla in a better spot? I mean, theoretically, I could. Practically, I don't think so. Yeah, practically, I can also definitely make this better. But I think we're good. I enjoy what I'm seeing. I don't care about the blueberry that much. We're rolling for two is impossible. Un I can get one more dragon next round. That's it. I mean, with four dragons, we already break the game. I have the main four dragons that I can have. Oh no, they got buffs. Oh no, we're still full life. I'm not losing life, man. I'm impossible to die. It's impossible for us to die. What did this guy go to? They also went for the crafting thing. Why would you go for the crafting thing? I think the anvil is one of the worst ones on this guy. Uh, crafted items and the triangle gives plus two damage and five or less stamina. And you gave this thing to the thing that doesn't use stamina? Like, why? They should have gone on a uh, ripsaw blade or something else. Anyway, doesn't matter. They also had 50,000 potions. They died still. And we found the dragon. I actually won. Flicked for random debuffs and a flame dragon too. I can buy both of them. Just remove these flames, and which are relevant for the build. Uh, and then, like, flip the blade like this. One dragon goes there. First of all, this is getting bought. Reorganize time. Okay, I'm back. Well, guess what? We don't have room for the flames. So let's sell the flames. That's the main trick that you can do with this character. Uh, and also forget the piggy bank existing. The main thing you can, tr uh, the main trick you can do with this character is literally just throw away the flames. By doing that, you gain money back, and you can reroll and buy other stuff. Throw these out. I uh, could go for a coal. Yeah, why not go for a coal? It fits. Oh, found my last shielding boy. You go and you go, 
and we buy this thing and you go here and we buy a Torquilla as my last item and I guess might as well buy an attack speed backpack that fits nowhere this fits nowhere uh, these all two also don't fit and they will never fit so you go away and uh, one coin is better than a flame I, I will sell one flame and the other one I'm gonna get back and we're gonna remove the piggy bank for its in its spot something like that I don't know let's go yeah let's go can I sell enough flames to go into Torquilla build right now? Wait a minute. One. I need a uh, six. Seven. I need seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we can sell seven flames. Uh, yeah, is that seven flames? Yes. And then a Torquilla goes up there or something. Where would I put this Torquilla is the question. The second Torquilla is. Uh, it, uh, I guess... Where, yeah, where would the second Torquilla fit? <laughs> I think here is the play, but obviously the, the, the blade is not in a good spot. The, the, the blade would go here, and it would still hit both dragons. Right, or, or even here, and it's gonna hit two dragons. And the corner, for example. Yeah, but let's, let's assume that this is here. I'm gonna do a reorganized time here, let me actually think about it on my own. Okay, and here we go, I would say. So, we've got my dragons all lined up with Torquillas. This is the... I think this is very min-maxi. I might be missing something here and there, obviously. Uh, but still, let's actually also have the flames inside of the zone. And, uh, yeah. So, the idea is the following. I'm gonna go... No, actually, let's do this run. I'm gonna first explain. So, we have a bunch of attack speeds on everything. Uh, mainly, the Torquillas are buffing the most important things. This Torquilla is hitting the sword. This Torquilla is just hitting three dragons plus the food stuff. We'll gain a mana out of this, so that this thing starts giving us buffs and shielding, because that's what it does. This one being the most important dragon is in the middle of everything. This guy should just have a bunch of attack speed, not damage. These guys are the damage dragons, which are the Burning Blades buffs. And this is the debuff dragon that makes opponents unable to play, which are the Torquillas buff. We are gonna get shielding and buffs. We also gain mana gain from the Blueberry itself, so we should have sustain. And then every single dragon connected gives us uh, 7 healing on attack. And we're gonna have six dragons, so that's six times seven. Uh, 42 healing per 2.2 seconds, which is not gonna be 2.2 seconds because the Burning Blade creates heat and heat gives us attack speed. So that's pretty much the build. And we also have, you know, Chili Peppers giving us heat and Banana for giving us a bit of energy regen. Let us go and hopefully win. I'm gonna speed the game down to, let's say, 0.7. Just to see how opponents can literally not do anything to us. Let's even say 0 0.5. I don't think they have this against us. Uh, they also get super poisoned. We remove our own debuffs uh, with the chili peppers because we have enough heat to do that. And they are trying to get some kind of mana here, but that's not enough. And we won easy enough. I'm also gaining random buffs like spikes and regen from this boy. So that's nice. And I also gain shielding. I mean, I'm literally full life, man. I am literally full life. Uh, heal, 189 from the dragon's nest. Overheal, 111. Uh, and blocked a little bit. So that's nice. They did nothing. Did they heal? Ah, they I didn't even have heal. Let's hope the next opponent's gonna be super tanky. Boom, popped both my eggs. And now we don't have time anymore, by the way. Survive one round is left. So piggy bank, you're useless. Put the flames in. I found another dragon egg. The amethyst, my most liked one, this boy. Uh, we have two of these now. So I would like them to both be buffed by the Torquillas. So that's this spot right here. <laughs> Because these guys are the remove a random buff from the opponent. Because I don't want them to be able to play. Uh, I'm gonna get this Jin Lamp because it fits the build. If I ever get 7 armor, this guy gives us 5 armor. So that's pretty hard to do. Uh, 7 luck and 7 spikes and 7, sh uh, seven mana. All of these are very easy. The 7 l shielding is very hard. Because I only have 1 Sapphire Whelp here doing the job. That's not really easily gonna happen, so let's forget it. Gain region, otherwise max life. Nah, who cares, let's roll him. On a phoenix. Phoenix is a revive if you die. Also, who cares? I just want one more Jinx or killer or something. I, I don't need any other stuff. Nah, I found a Wolpen Tiger. Might as well play Wolpen Tiger as my last item. Is what I would say. Gives us buffs. The one I have the least of. No, that's also a no. Gain three luck. Spike, poison, very irrelevant stuff. 
I guess I can get a garlic in case the wound has vampirism, but that's also relevant. I'm really thinking about the gin lamp at this point. Gin lamp hitting this ruby whelp, and if it happens, it happens. Or hitting the burning blade, and if it happens, it happens. Yeah, let's try that. If it happens, it happens, okay? Th this here, once again, the main mistake everybody's doing with the gin lamp is they forget that you need to have seven armor for this to function. And I have seven armor for this guy. If he hits twice and gives us five and five, we're gonna activate the gin lamp. That's it. That is literally it. I would like to buy blueberry over the flame. Over two flames, even. So, let's get the blueberry. Uh, it can't really go anywhere. I guess here's the best spot as it gets some attacks with the banana. And that's it. Uh, if anything, I would say here. I would say here. Yeah, that's better. And uh, let's go. Let's go. We have six dragons. We have two Torkillas hitting everything. This thing is healing us like crazy. We might buff or not the sword if the dragon attacks fast enough. And uh, yeah, let's go. Hopefully the sword is not going to get buffed because that's going to kill the opponent instantly. Okay, this is a super bursty build. Let's see at 0.3 speed, honestly, because this guy is, is going to attack us like crazy. So let's see how this is going to go. They have This is the attack speed flame build. They also have an obsidian dragon. Gain 3 damage and trigger an extra attack. Why did I not have this? I don't know how you get obsidian dragons. Maybe I was able to get some and I never realized. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, they are dying. They have a phoenix, so they're going to come back with 230 life because the phoenix revives you with your heat. Yeah, now they're gone. I'm still full life, man. You never touched me. Wow. This this is the best build. Forget the flame build. A dragon build is insane. They cannot hit us at all. At all. We cannot lose life, man. It's, it's, it's impossible to do anything against us. This is the heaviest healing build in the game, I would say. Damage dealt isn't crazy. They did more damage than us, I would say. Uh, healing is super crazy, though. 322 healing. They had 240 only from the Phoenix triggering once. 322 heal and overheal another 49. Yeah, okay, fair enough. So they were doing enough damage to DPS us down to 322. Um, yeah, they had enough DPS to not allow us to overheal, is what I tried to say. Yeah, they literally did not allow us to overheal, but we had 28 healing per second. They had 12 damage per second plus all the rest. Uh, there should be an all damage, by the way, which does not exist at the very top. Um, or, or next to damage dealt here in the parentheses. I don't know. It would be nice to have one stat that says all damage and all healing instead of Dragoness, Chili Pepper. Just do this addition so that we can see that, oh, we had 30, 30 healing per second and they, for example, had whatever this addition is, uh, which is about, I, I would say, 3d2 or 3d3 or something. I don't know. Maybe they were literally doing less damage than what I was healing every single second. How do you get Obsidian Dragon? 15 heat gain, gain 3 damage and trigger an extra attack. Uh, would I be able to see the combos here? I don't think I would be able to because I don't have anything. Uh, may maybe flames plus the ruby well does that. Although why would I even do this? I I, I do not want that. Fifteen uh, every fifteen flame you gain it does three damage and trigger an extra attack, but it's huge and triggering an extra attack is like a joke. I prefer the reflecting two debuffs and just it's smaller. The the size is important. Uh, by the way, the dragon's nest would be insanely busted. Not insanely busted. If there was a dragon that's a one-liner. Is there a dragon that's a one-liner? Uh, well, these are all whelps, right? And this is a dragon. Yeah, let's actually check if there is a one-liner dragon. And then that would be that. We won here. Very nice. I, I, I believe the flame character is the best one. Wait a minute. Did I lose? Why did I only get 44? Ah, because I had three losses, I think. Yeah, because the very, very, very first time I run this, I, I got plus 77. Uh, but yeah, that has to do with how many losses you get early game. Um, so let's go with items for a moment. And uh, let's go gated and crafted. Ah, gated and crafted. Just crafted. So this is not gated at all. Therefore, you can craft it. What did I want to check? I don't even want to, I don't even know what I want to check. Uh, yeah, I don't know what I wanted to check. Ice dragon. By the way, if you go like this and write dragon... Ah, yeah, I remember it. This is a one-spotter dragon. The the one-spotters, that's what I wanted. Dragon skin boots, no, no, no. It has to be a dragon pet. A dice pet fire. So this is a unique dragon that you can get on any class, right? Do I understand this correctly? Yes. So this is literally the dragon you want. This is a one-spotter. You see this little tail and this little head? That's a one-spotter dragon where you can shove it into the corner of the dragon's nest. It's plus one damage per heat. 2% chance to resist debuff for each luck. 
Sort of bug in heat and luck for each magic item. Yeah, whatever. Plus one damage with each heat. This this was 3D, plus 3D damage. This is insane. This is in If you get this on the flame guy, you won. Once again, this is neutral, so you can get it on everybody. But if you get it on the pyromancer, you instantly win. This is best in slot unique for this guy. The uniques, by the way, have a 10% chance to appear. Or a 5. I can actually check real quick. Um, sale 10% unique on shop entry it's 0%. You have... I mean, I'm early game, that's why this is not visible. Well, it is what it is. Let's uh, return to title, and I'm buying on this run. App concede active, unranked game. I think it's 5 or 10% when you enter the shop that you get a unique item. That's like, you have literally one chance only to get that. Otherwise, you don't get that. Why is this not a pet? I guess they forgot to mark the pet down there. Because this is pet, pet. This is just fire. It doesn't say pet. Definitely made a mistake. And then if I press well... Then it's also four. So there are four whelps and four dragons. Yeah, wait a minute. How is... Uh, funky? Lanky? Or what is it? Lanky? Is there a crazy dragon that only... What is this called? Chunk. Ah! Okay, well, if I press pet, then all the dragons should be here. Is this a dragon? Nope. Would the chunk ruby... Would the ruby chunk count as a dragon? Or the... Um, yeah, I think this wording here is bad. It says dragon eggs hatch after one round. Dragon eggs are offered in the shop. Uh, but um, they don't say the word dragon anywhere. Like If I write dragon, you only find these ones. If I find whelp, you find these ones. And this does not have the word dragon anywhere. So I think that's the thing they should fix. Because it says pet at the bottom. It should say pet dragon. And here, for example, it should pet fire dragon. Uh, year at the bottom. So that's my opinion on this. I'm gonna also send that over to the dev and I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching and see you guys around.